Hello and welcome, my beautiful lions. Brenda here with your general tarot and oracle card message for the week of January the 16th to the 22nd, 2023. Thank you again for your interest in my channel, for viewing, liking, sharing, and hitting the thumbs up, leaving me those beautiful comments, and clicking the bell to get notified. This is a general reading. Not every single card or the energy they carry may resonate with every single Leo on the planet, but some of it will, so run with it and throw the rest out into the universe to those that it does. If you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any personal questions, all that information is posted below each and every single one of my videos here on YouTube. You can check out my prices, click the little icon in the top right hand corner of my video and that'll whip you off to my website where you can actually schedule and book your own appointment on the calendar there. Please know I do have appointments available now that I've finally rolled into January because it's been so busy pre-Christmas. So things are just finally calming down. So you'll be able to go in there and see the days and the times I'm available should you need me. Okay, let's see what we have, my beautiful lions. Starting off with your first energy card, you have the beautiful card of the sun. And we all know that the sun is about success and and being able to step out there and, and have the confidence and the courage to go towards your goals and feel the glory of victory here. This is a beautiful card that says good luck is coming your way. You're going in a new direction. The light's going to shine on you and you're going to be able to see light at the end of the tunnel. There's a really clear light sight line coming in line here for some of you. There's not going to be the confusion that you've been feeling in the past. This particular shift is going to be a better shift of energy of good luck. It may feel like a leap of faith for some of you here to go after what it is you want, but don't be afraid. Uh, we all need to step up and go after it when the doors of opportunity open up. You are in a transition period where you need to draw on your faith and intuition and knowledge and take that leap. You're not going to fail. You have a safety net here of support right now in place. So get over the fear and don't want to take off here. Don't take flight. Don't, don't allow fear and flight to come in here. If you do make a mistake, you have the ability to try again and learn from what didn't work the first time. This is a card that says go after what you want. Beautiful. And you're going to see the direction that you want to go now with this sun card. Now we have the peacock spirit. And again, it talks about illumination and being able to see things clearly. Coming out of the shadows now and going forward towards what you want. And again, shaking those tail feathers, as they say, when it comes to the peacock and letting your light shine. Celebrate now. Celebrate your good fortune of being right here, right now. This is about you going out there and possibly networking yourself, letting the powers that be know who you are and what you've got to offer to society here. Going out after it, taking that leap of faith and being able now to see the, the light shine and being able to see yourself in a happy state. The sun's the best card in the deck. It's prosperity. It's happiness. It's good health. It's all over well-being. It's fabulous. Okay, coming in on the bottom of the deck, look what we have. We have the six of wands. Victory after hard work and struggle. So you've got this beautiful, beautiful, and you have the sun twice here. Look at that. You have this beautiful energy that's going to come in towards you. What have you been working hard on? What have you been doing the due diligence? What have you been putting your time, blood, sweat, and tears into? My beautiful Leos. Going out there, you know, king of the jungle, hear me roar. Going after what you want and seeing the rewards coming in. So whatever it is, whatever you've been pursuing, continue that path. Don't waver from it. Keep yourself centered here. Go after your goals and you're going to see the rewards coming in. Beautiful. In your first row, possibly energy coming in behind you. Could be past tense or the beginning of your week. You have the judgment, you have the queen of pentacles, and you have the eight of pentacles. Definitely doing the work, work, putting your head down, going after what it is you want, working hard, doing the due diligence. You know, the overtime you might have put into something, uh, uh, the extra hours, um, hard work here is paying off. Some of you, again, could be taking an online course, a new form of study. You could be turning a a um, project or a hobby into a business. You're, you're definitely doing the work here. Don't give up. You've got everything here at the, at the tips of your fingers. You're so gifted and talented here. You're going to be able to see that you can turn your hand to anything with the Queen of Pentacles. She, she's like Mother Earth. She puts her hands to things and then she watches her success and the growth come in. 
Being patient right now as you work towards your goals is very important um, at this time. But I do think you're going to be able to put your hands to things and see it grow. Some of you may be dealing uh, with family issues. You may be wanting to spend more time with your family there. Maybe you're planning a family. Uh, some of you could be dealing with animals. She's very into that. She's very feminine. She's got that, that maternal instinct for animals and family. Uh, children and also she knows that she goes after what she wants and she's capable of making dropping those seeds and watching them come to fruition but she's patient waiting for it perfect timing now the last card here in your first row is judgment you're making a judgment call here you're being carried off in a new direction now's your time to know that the universe and powers that be have said you know what listen to the signs Hear the messages coming in. It's time for you to move on in a new direction. This is, you know, a card that says you've done the work. Now you need to move on in a new direction here. You've made a decision. You don't want to go back to where you were. You want to go forward. And in on this new journey, know that you've got support here. Know that there are going to be those that want that are only going to want to be with you and you're going to want to be with them that have the same interests as you do, that want to support you through this endeavor. Okay. I think it was like this. All right, let's see what we have here. In the center position could be the energy you're feeling right now or the middle of the week. Your cross is the sun again. And your crossing over energy is the four of swords and you've got the ten of wands. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll go right on here to the ten of wands. <clears throat> Excuse me. The end of a situation here. You felt as though you were the beast of burden. Um, you were carrying all the weight on your own shoulders. Perhaps you were taking all the work on yourself and not getting any help. This could be one-sided relationships. This could be taking on more work at, at your place of employment. Um, but you've come to the point now where you do make it to the top of the summit. And you realize now coming down the other side is going to be easier because you're making decisions now not to let yourself get caught up in all that burden anymore. You're not going to take on other people's problems or their drama anymore either. This is about you being able now to realize there's a clear sight line going after what you want here. Uh, and now it's going to be easier. Making those decisions not to push yourself to that point. Um, and, and you're moving on. You're definitely moving on here in a new direction. You've made a judgment call and this is it for you. You've done the hard work and now you're saying, I don't want to go down that road again. I don't want to carry those burdens of you on my back anymore. Forest Sword says it wore you down. You had to take a time out or you're in the process of resting up and taking a respite. Maybe you're planning, uh, you know, some sort of a time out where you can just rest up and do what's right for you. Going to your safe room, going to where you feel secure and not feeling so emotionally burdened down anymore. It's over. You, the 10 says this is completion and now you're going to be able to be happy again. The sun, yeah, walking in your own illumination, feeling the warmth and all that beautiful energy from the sun, being able to rejuvenate, to relax, recharge and reflect on what you've done to this point. Beautiful energy. <clears throat> now, coming in in your last row, this is energy that could be coming towards you, future energy or the end of the week. You've got the Ace of Swords. You've got the Six of Cups. You've got the Two of Pentacles. So the Ace of Swords says, you, you, you know, you're going to be able, again, this is all about getting clarity here. This is all about victory. This is all about the beginning of something new coming in that you need to hear. Uh, this is success. Um, with the Ace of Swords, you hear about something coming in that's going to be um, <clears throat> very, very imperative to you, uh, very important to you, that you're going to be able to act on this. Uh, sometimes we get, you know, we get the Ace of Swords and we, we wonder, you know, we, we wait for this information to come in and then all of a sudden we wonder why it did and how it, we got it. But it's wonderful. And it's all, it could have to do with justice. It could be a legal situation that you're dealing with right now as well. You're looking at things more realistic now. You're going to be able to analyze your motives and go after what you want. And, you know, he sits here writing in his ledger here and he's got all the information he needs and he's got his hand on the globe. He knows he's free now to go wherever the heck he wants. So this is beautiful. You've got the two of pentacles. Definitely hearing good news about money. This is pages bring us in um, or the two of pentacles. This is about um, juggling, juggling energy here. I thought he was a page because he looked young. This is a new deck. So bear with me. Two of pentacles. Yes balance okay going through transition making decisions uh you could end up with two offers two opportunities two choices and decisions to make but i wouldn't worry about it because you're thinking long term here don't take on more than you can chew this is a card that says be careful i think you've learned from the past here with the ten of wands that you can't take on everything 
at once and you can't be there for everybody at the same time so this is about balance okay making sure that you you're not juggling your home life with your personal life and so on being able to organize yourself uh, and be logical here where you are not going to be so pressed and pushed anymore coming in next six of cups yes reconnection maybe could be um you know could be reconciliation uh, getting together again with someone from your past, somebody who may live at a distance or become distanced from you. This is a card that says you may be tapping into your inner child, enjoying life, having or connecting with someone where you knew in your childhood and now the two of you can get together and you can laugh about those times. You can enjoy those times. This could be a colleague that's reconnecting. This could be somebody that's going to be imperative for your job. This could be someone who you had had a love affair with. They surface again. With social media, they're popping up all the time. But I do think you're going to enjoy children around you as well. So this is a beautiful card. Yes, reconnecting. This is a card that says you could be reminiscing or actually meeting someone or connecting again with somebody from a distance or your past. Wow. Okay. Oof. Well, my beautiful, beautiful Leos, this is your reading for this week. And it, again, is another powerful reading, but I see a lot of good energy here. You got the sun twice. You're taking a leap of faith. You're shining your light now so everybody knows your worthiness. You've learned from your past, and now you're going to end up with the rewards that you need, and that is victory after hard work and effort. Well, I wish you a great remainder to today, my beautiful lions, my Leos, and a very positive week to look forward to. Always know I send you lots of love and many blessings and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.